Sanrail confirms reports that there's been a significant increase of e-tag registrations in Gauteng. And economists warn that interest rates are expected to rise in the latter part of the year on the back of inflationary pressure. I'm Richard Brooks. The SA National Roads Agency has confirmed reports that there's been a significant increase of e-tag registrations in Gauteng. It says most registrations are taking place at shopping malls. According to reports, more than 350,000 e-tags have been registered for e-tolling. E-tolling is set to go live on April the 30th. Sanrail gazetted new tariffs on Friday. People without e-tags will be charged 1 rand 75 per kilometre, compared to the standard tariff of 30 cents a kilometre for registered users. Several organisations have raised concerns about the tariffs. They've asked Sanrail to postpone the launch. Kusatu is planning a second strike against the ETOL system. Water expert Anthony Turton says the water problem being experienced in Diepsluit, northwest of Johannesburg, has a lot to do with lack of town planning. He was speaking at the Water, Energy and Food Forum underway in Santon. Several areas of Deep Sluit have been without tap water for seven days because of contamination. Turton says these problems are common in informal development areas. One of the problems, of course, in many of these informal settlements is that there was never any real planning in place. If it was planned correctly, then you would know exactly where each pipe is and each cable is. But by virtue of the fact that we've had a bit of a chaotic development in the last decade or so, simply means that we don't really know where everything is in the ground. So it's not uncommon for a contractor to suddenly hit a pipe or hit a cable, but it's the nature of our current urbanisation in South Africa. Joburg Water has meanwhile cleared residents of Deep Sluit Extension 2 to use tap water. Various areas in the sprawling township northwest Joburg are still without water. Joburg Water spokesperson Millicent Kwabe. Sonnenberg Water is making good progress in trying to clear areas of more areas uh, in this lot of places of contamination. At this point in time, we managed to clear uh, this lot west, but a place known to residents as Sot West. The rest of this lot is still affected, and we're still saying to the residents, don't drink tap water until the time that we give them an indication to do so. Economists have warned that interest rates are expected to rise in the latter part of the year on the back of inflationary pressure. ABSA property analyst Jacques Dutoy says interest rates are expected to rise further in 2013, with prime and variable mortgage rates to peak at 11% by the end of next year. The review also shows that home values in all categories are in a state of deflation at the moment.